Well, on this road here, next to this town here, in Burgundy, there's a, a huge Templar's commandery, so I'm going to have a look here. I've got another few clicks to do. It's, um, it's, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful night, a lot of stars. No, you can't probably see it. It's such a beautiful weather. So, let's do a couple of more clicks. No. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to put my tent next to a Templar's commandery. Uh, it's all nature here. It's all, there are thousands of Templar's commanderies in France only. They're everywhere. They really took all the power in the world, eh? Believe me. Well, there it is, I guess. I guess it's here, you know. I just saw an owl, like, you know, going in here. <laughs> uh, I don't see any signs, usually, though. Signs, it's really very big. Look, the names are German. Von Heller. Gertringen. And so, von, von Trebra. It's the German aristocracy. And here it says, you know, it's, it's uh, private property. I suppose this is it. I'll, I'll just ring the thing, eh? So, oh, that's got to be fun. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Hello. So there it is between the bushes here. Really big. So you know, I'm going to tell you, if you want to sneak into castles in the night, you know, of the uh, of the high aristocracy, German aristocracy, you need a filter. You see, on this lamp here, I've got a, uh, a UV filter. You now I can take it away like this. Like this, so they don't see you in the night. If you got a red light, you know, you want to be seen like the red lights of your car. But with uh, ultraviolet, uh, you can't be seen or not as easy. So this one is green, which is good. Or you can use blue. And I mean, which is a whole lot better than, you know, like this. See? You know, if you want to put up your tent and don't want to be seen, you know. And you'd rather do it like this. I mean, you can, yeah, you can hardly see it. And then, you know, I even dim it. So, so you know, I, I have two lamps. This one is on batteries and the other one is uh, rechargeable. So, and the rechargeable ones, it just gives uh, an, an awful lot of light, you know, which at certain moments, I don't want that. Like these moments here, or if I'm, you know, putting up my tent somewhere in the middle of nowhere, you know, or, you know, if there are people. Because the human factor uh, is a problem. So there's nobody there, you know, they just, you know, they leave the light on in the night. Uh, German security. Right. Well, they do bad things here, I, I can assure you that. Just like in the Dutroux castle and the Fournieret castle, they do bad things here. Pharaoh. You see, you've got a fence here with electricity on it. Nice. Like an Auschwitz. Hey. So. It's a... Uh, there's a, uh, a, so a short circuit here, touching the metal, so, uh, you know, it, it discharges here. You can hear it, look. Great, isn't it? Hey? Wow. Oh, you can actually see it, you know, yes. The other side too, oh, look, these, these things like in the, like uh, at the Dutroux Castle, you know, look at that. Like, yeah, you see. 
this one too. There's actually that one there, you know, it's it's touching the metal, you see. There's a, great. Bloody Auschwitz. You know, as soon as the Germans come here, you know, it gets all nasty. Yeah. French don't do that. But, yeah, well, anyway, this is the aristocracy, eh? But, yeah, well, uh, it's always worth it, you know, to walk around things. So I am on the back side, probably, yeah, that's what I thought. Looks like a jolly good place to sleep. So I pitched my tent in that garden. Very nice, I'll show it to you tomorrow. Look, here's, this is where we are, this is Dijon. Here was the Templars Commandery in Bone of Jacques de Molay. And this one here, mm, I can't see it. Uh, why not? I'll show it to you later, I can't see it. Uh, that was somewhere here was the uh, yeah. so now we are this one uh, here you know Ipai oh. where is it Ipai Ipai he says you know command Templier commanderie Templier this one here too apparently here guy took me hitchhiking and the, the Swiss Sun Templar sect, they killed people here, children. Burle Templier. And here is another one. Oh, this is difficult. Uh, where the red circle is. I. Oh, bloody. Oh. I should do it, I guess. Yeah. It says... Um, Voulaine le Templier. Oh man. Well, that's wrong. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, Voulaine le Templier, you see? Here was the other one. There. Yeah. Epaillé, Commanderie Templier. Templar's Commandery. And here's another one here. Yeah, it's even on the uh, tourist information here. Montepaille, Commanderie Templier. Here, Bure de Templier. The Swissy, Swissy murdered people here. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so here was another thing there, Echarnon, the Templar's Chapel. And there's much more. And this is just a small region, you know. And you just saw it, you know. They were all German nobility, von this, von that. They were the ones who sent all the Germans into the war, go and die for us, hey? So, you know, von Stauffenberg, you know, uh, July 20th, 1944, attack on Hitler. Well, of course, it never happened. Get out of here. I mean, this is the high aristocracy, probably. I mean, why would they buy a Templar's commandery if the Templars were not aristocrats? Eh? That's what I've been telling you. Watch the film, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. They say the Knights Templars, you know, they attacked the nobility, you know, and the king. So, it, you know, it's everywhere, you know. Why would they buy a Templar's commandery? The German aristocracy. You know, they're all the same. It is the aristocracy. The Knights Templars are the aristocracy. Watch the Swiss beast, home of the devil. Arrows. Me. I've woken up with some very aggressive people here. The Burgundy people, it's, uh, it's different. It's not nice. It makes, makes a good team with the Germans. So this, it looks like an arena, you know, where in the other castle where the, what I filmed. And then they made a, uh, a pond of it, you know, water in it. See that? 
and uh, the blokes just told me. Oh yeah, yeah, again. The, bl the blokes, the blokes just told me that the um, the Germans just right after the war, even maybe within the war, they were already here, bought it. You know, there's there's a war within the war. You know, there are people <laughs> who don't even sense there's a war, like you know. Oh, there's where I slept. Uh, you know, the, the, the guy who was threatening me, me you know, said, you know, I, I'm not joking, hey, I'm not, you know, he give you ten minutes to leave, you know. I know, you know, if there's a brawl, they're going to cry afterwards and call up the police. It's always the same, big mouth, you know. No, I didn't, you know, it's no use getting into it, you always you lose. So there it is, I'm not going in here. You know, Templar's Chapel and all that. Well, maybe just a little bit. You see, German number plates, you know, Munich. Uh, a little swimming pool next to the Knights Templars. You know, criminals, criminals, criminals in those days, killing, killing us. You know, with these guys, you know, being very helpful to them. Oh, there they are. Look, there he is. Yeah, yeah, shut up. And criminals today. You know? Interesting. Looks like some graves or next to that stuff here. Templars. Oh. Uh. That's us, they're pigs. Oh, oh there he is. Huh? And you know, Satan's helpers. Look at it. Satan's helpers. Then and still today. You know, with the threats and all that, you know, the guy just before, they should have, both two of them, they should have known what I could do with them, you know. But I have to be smart. You know, I'll, I'll save it up, I'll save it all up for another time, eh? Now, this is other thing I filmed in the night where I passed through. You know, the Satan's helpers are there on that side, that's, that's the Templar's farm. Here they got their Templar's chapel, you know. Yeah, and there they got their commandery, probably, or part of the commandery, it's all, well, the whole thing is a commandery, you know, but not always, but it's not a castle, but then the aristocracy, they came back, yeah, from this and from that, so, Templars are the aristocracy, I mean, it's even on the door, aristocratic names, you know, why, why the hell, on a church, you got a thing to shoot out here, you know, eh? Eh? And they're still shooting, you know, even today, horrible people, horrible. Oh, I mean, look at the fence, I mean, this, this is Auschwitz, you know, it even says, <coughs> don't touch it. Oh. Auschwitz was the aristocracy. With their satanic, with Satan's helpers, some Germans, but not the entire German people. I shout again, von Tila and von. I can't read it. Rera, something like that. That's where they live, you know. Yeah, look, come on. Ah, somebody's coming. Oh, right, that's him. Look, he's coming again. I'll get his gun or what? Well, I better go. 
I mean, where I'm gonna run, you know? <laughs> There's nowhere to run. Well, let's go. It's not that I'm afraid of them, you know, but they, they got all the authorities behind them. We are their pigs, eh? Just show them. You just saw them. Now here it says Burgundy. Oh, they're not, oh Templars V in it. Look at that. They're not nice. Ah, oh, it's special, eh? Even the French know it. Most French know it, the Burgundy. They're special. You know, even this is like a triangle. You know, part of a pyramid, eh? And I'm making a Templars cross. There's probably one here, and one there, and one there, or used to be, and one on the other side. So, you know, they did child sacrifice. It's just not far away from here. I showed you the four commanderies, and in one of them, yesterday there was a, uh, a judge of children's affairs, a juvenile judge. He, uh, he took me hitchhiking and he told me that uh, they murdered some of the children and sacrificed them in the Templars commandery of uh, uh, Labure here in Burgundy. So these ones are very, very ugly people, all of them, the whole bunch. Uh, well, they're into it, eh? These are the real Templars. And the ones, you know, the, the Sun Templars, no, they, they were not real Templars, you know, they were just believing in the... In the Romanticism and a lot of Swiss. The Swiss are the real Templars, so that's why they were here. Eh? I, I didn't even know that. Probably never ended up in the newspapers. Eh? But here's what I killed a lot of children. So these ones are involved. It's just around the corner, folks. The aristocracy always did it, and they come from Pharaoh, and they became the Knights Templars. And they don't allow anybody else to use their name, you know, if somebody does. And, or attract them under that name and then kill them, and their children too. And as I've shown you in my film on, on Gatsafrats, I think it was, uh, or maybe Gure, um, it, 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 was, it was a sacrifice. They even heaped up the children and they, uh, in an octagonal way. And, uh, yeah. This is evil. And they're still there. Yeah, look, there's a funeral company. You know, why did they put a pharaoh in there? And a pyramid. And it's called Funeris. Like Funerisis, eh? Oh, yes, they know it. If you look at the logo here, you can even see the... Uh, so it, it lights up in the night, probably. You can even see the pyramids in the sky and all that. Oh, there's a square, the concept of four, in blue, the war color. Oh yes, they are, they are having a war against us. But these guys know it here. Oh, there's, there's, there's no doubt, they're part of the bunch. And um, are you sure after you're dead, they burn your body and you get the ashes? Are you really sure? Well, I'm not. I think they use their bodies uh, to make uh, mineral reserves, you know, out of it, petrol and uh, for the cars and all that because the mineral reserves they are probably i don't know who or what maybe the extraterrestrials or i don't know what the pharaohs uh they might have put them all in a, in a big hole in saudi arabia where automatically naturally the petrol the mineral reserve it came out of it um i mean this probably this also gives an answer to where did the uh, where did the dinosaurs, where, where did they stay, eh? We still don't know everything, eh? I know a lot. <laughs> but... Um, at the same time, we know nothing what's happening, eh? And uh, technically, scientifically, out of a dead body of your grandpa and your grandma, you, they can make petrol out of it. So why don't they, you know? They just give you some ashes. Uh, Look, he's got even reptilian eyes, I think, eh? Look at that. Yo, there you go, eh? Right, funny nose too, eh? Reptilians. Oh, reptilians, look at that. That's not normal, and they know it. Why don't they, you know, if you make this, you know, at the same time, why do you make a real eye of it? Uh, the nose is weird too, you know, there's a Templar V in the, no in the, in the mouth. Two obelisks, Yachim and Boas. Oh, yeah, nice. 
And that one too, does he have reptilian eyes too? Let's have a look. Yeah, all reptilians, right? Yeah, man. I... Pyramids. It's like, and here, the, what does it say in the square? Can't say. Oh, okay. Alright. The uh, Pharaonic Europe, eh? Belongs to Pharaoh. Well, it looks to be like a Pharaonic quarter here. Look at that. Oy, you want to do your shopping here? It looks like um, in Paris, you know, with the uh, the French president where he got inaugurated. Uh, the uh, the museum there, Le Louvre. Two of them. Wow, oh, go and count them, eh? Go and count them. Probably 33 as well. <laughs> oh man. And all squares in it, you know? Because, oh, there's two. The, uh, the concept of three for the triangle and the concept of four for the square. The square and compass is in it all. It shows the square and compass, blokes. See? That's why they put all squares in it. Uh, well, I'm going to square up with you, eh? Uh, you, see, you see the top of the pyramid there? And there's the homeless, the European. The slave. That's what left of the, uh, the proud warriors. Hey, our masters.